What is up guys? Welcome to the studio and we have a great new video for you. So this wheel costs $120. The wheel that I have over there costs at least 10 times that, you know, 1500. So we're going to test it out today and see, is this thing worth $120? I mean, the size of it already, you know, I'm probably not going to use it as a production wheel, but can you do it? Can you throw on it? Is it a good beginner wheel? Is it a good kid's wheel? I mean, my kids were super pumped when they saw that we were getting this little wheel. So that's what we're going to test out today. They sent me this wheel for free. Uh, I did not buy it, but they're not paying me anything. So I might as well just tell you exactly what I think, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you, is this $120 wheel worth anything? It feels pretty nice. Besides the fact that it's just like way smaller than I would normally be used to, it feels good. Clip in splash pan thing. Nice. Seems like that's pretty solid. Uh, as far as the controls go, comes with this cord. I mean, I actually kind of like the size depending on if it works. I mean, to have like as a, in a studio that you don't have much space or if you want like a bunch of wheels to do classes or something, seems like that might work out well. And for 120 bucks, geez, you can buy 10 of these wheels for what, like a, you know, an Amco or a Scut or whatever. Don't get me wrong, I love my Scut. If I was starting up a studio where I did classes or something, I don't wanna spend 15 grand on new wheels. All right, got her plugged in. Looks like there's a little on off switch right here. So we'll turn her on. We got position rotation, we got speed, we got hand. All right, so let's turn it on. Got the pedal. So if I go to foot, Oh, nice. So you just click that button. You can either have it on hand tune, which I'm assuming will just rotate it if you start this. Yeah. And then you can put it on foot adjustment and then that starts up the rotations. So that's as fast as it goes. It's pretty nice. My one second impression is I'm kind of impressed. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to just like sit. Definitely not a tabletop wheel. Too high for that. All right, let's put this thing on the ground and see if it can throw some clay on it. <sighs> Using my clay box from Continental Clay as my seat. Let's try it out. Or if I'm just like, should I just do it on? Okay, so now I've got the wheel up a little higher on clay boxes. All right, that feels better. All right, now let's see if I can throw some bowls with this thing. So I'm gonna get her going as fast. It's going as fast as it'll go. Well, I got it centered at least. All right, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. So it definitely goes fast enough to center it very good variety of speed you know like some wheels older wheels have like you know two speeds slow and fast whereas like my wheel you can do anything and this wheel it looks, seems like you can do anything too you can go really really fast it has all these different numbers and it's changing you know 100 200 300 i don't know if that's rpms probably is rpms or something there's a little bowl that took, what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It comes with this little nifty tool kit, which is kind of nice. All right, now I'm gonna wire it off. I'm so bad at doing this, taking things off the wheel without bats. First impression was actually not bad. I'm kind of impressed. That was pretty easy. I like how you can vary the speed really easily. You know, all the way down is pretty fast, fast enough to center. And then you can scale it back when you're pulling up the walls. I'm impressed so far. Let's try something else.
joints. The last thing I'm gonna try is two and a half pounds. So those were like three quarters of a pound, pretty small pieces. Now I wanna see how it feels when I'm trying to center a bigger piece of clay. Cause I'm guessing that with a smaller motor like this, a smaller wheel, that there probably comes a point that uh, it just can't handle that much weight. You know, that's the nice part about the bigger wheels, the bigger motors is that they can do 10 pounds or 20 pounds or 25 pounds or 50 pounds. But this is probably my guess is gonna be good for, you know, half pound, one pound, one and a half pound maybe. But once you get to like two or three or four or five pounds, it might struggle. I don't know, let's test it out. It's also worth noting that I really don't have my, my levels dialed in here. Like I feel like if I was gonna throw on this wheel a lot, I would really make sure that the, uh, the wheel is at the right height and the oops, seat is at the right height. Um, that's the real test right there is when you have that the most pressure on the clay. It's pretty good actually. It handles it a little better than I thought it was gonna. If you have like good technique and time, you know, like my wheel, I can really center a lot of clay quickly. Whereas I can just tell this one is taking a little longer to center. If you're a beginner or you're learning or you're a kid, you know, like got it pretty much centered. Took a little longer than it normally would on my, on my other uh, wheel, but very doable. Um, I don't really know what I'm throwing or what should I throw? Bowl, vase, giant beer stein. Really like the variation of speed. That that uh, is something that is I can tell is very nice. It's not jerky at all. It's really smooth. It's also really quiet. There's a little base for you. Two and a half pounds. I actually am kind of impressed at how well it handled it. Really wasn't that hard. The centering takes a little longer than it does on my wheel, but very doable. Um, overall, I'm impressed with this little wheel. 120 bucks is crazy, a crazy low price for a pottery wheel and to get started in this. I mean, this is an expensive hobby or art form or career if you want to make it a career based on the equipment and this is a great way to get into it. Am I gonna replace my wheel with one of these? No, uh, there's a clear difference. The size, the motor, the production. And then the one thing I can't say is how long is this thing gonna last? I mean, are you gonna use it for six months every day and then it'll break or two months every day and it'll break? You know, those, the Scuts, really well-made wheels, they'll last forever, you know? Uh, I mean, not forever, but they last a long time and this one, I can't say for sure because I've had it for a day. But first initial thoughts are this wheel would be great if you've never done pottery before, if you just want to get into it and you're not really sure if you're like ready to drop 1500 bucks on a nicer production wheel with a bigger motor. Uh, it'd be great for kids, it's a great size. The only thing that I would say for me in my studio is that you know, you know there's always banding wheels or you know different types of uses for this like I know if I had a spray booth I would maybe use this in my spray booth where you just like you know put this in the booth you know spray you know you got your foot pedals you go Psh. I mean 120 bucks like there are banding wheels that don't have motors for 120 bucks so the price is amazing the quality is decent enough to make pots to learn it can handle two, three, I mean, it might be able to hand 10, 10 pounds. I don't know, I didn't try that today. My guess is the higher you get in poundage, the harder it'll be. I, I can pretty much guarantee that because it was, it did struggle a little more at two and a half pounds than it did at a pound. Overall, I'd say this wheel would be good for beginners, kids. Um, if you're looking for a wheel that's gonna last you 10 years and you crank out 2000 pots a year, maybe not the right wheel for you. Or the other thing I could see using this for is potentially classes. If you're a new potter and you want to do like get 10 wheels so you can have 10 people learning at one time, this could be a good way to do it for 1200 bucks instead of $12,000. There's also a part of me that thinks like if I got used to it a little more, I'd be more efficient on it or even better. Like, cause I've been using my wheels forever and anytime you switch to a new piece of equipment, it takes a little getting used to. So there's that to be aware of too. Leave me a comment in the comments below. Have you tried a wheel like this? Do you have a wheel? How much are you willing to spend? If you're new to pottery, like, 
120 bucks. You do have to think about like, if you get a wheel, you gotta have somewhere to fire it too. So often getting a kiln, you'll have to like bring it somewhere. That's kind of annoying. If you wanna wire your existing space for a kiln, sometimes that can be very expensive. Like my first kiln that I found was $200, but to wire it into my parents' basement was like $1,000. So still can be expensive to get into it, but this is certainly one of the hurdles that um, a lot of people look at wheels and say, wow, that's expensive, but maybe not anymore. Comment below and let me know if I missed anything. What do you guys wanna see me test on this wheel? What did I miss? What do you wanna know about this $120 wheel? That's all my thoughts about this wheel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh boy. All right. That was definitely not the wheel's fault.